So hi, me making a tu tutorial video. Imagine that, it's been ages. So I've been meaning to do this tutorial for a gazillion times. I've even recorded it before, but I wasn't happy with the result. I just never got around to editing yet. So now I'm doing it again because I get this question a lot. Uh, it is for displaying unique items in their own named uh, slots. You get an activator that says. Uh, as of Creation Club updates, there is a script built into Skyrim Special Edition. No, this is for a special edition, not for older. Um, there's a built-in script that you can use, so your displays will work on, on, on consoles, on PS4, on, on PC, everywhere. I built a little test uh, demo area here that I'm going to show you how to use this, because there are two scripts. One of the scripts is for completely unique items where you have just one instance of uh, Oriel Shield. There is no leveled version of Oriel Shield, it's always the same one. But then there are these different kinds of Mirage robes and masks that uh, depend on the player's build. And for example, if you are a heavy, heavy, heavy or light armor user, it depends. And there's a few peculiarities in these scripts that you need to note of. So I'm going to show you how to do it because this doesn't work the same way as previous modern resource uh, displays. So what you need is, well, I need to place the mirror here. So what I've done with all these display items, well, that one clips into it quite poorly. We'll ignore that for now because I just need really need to get these in place. I, now I am using the actual mirror mask just for the placement. Once we're done, we're going to replace this item, this item, and anything in here. Uh, we're going to replace it with an X mark. I'll show you once we're done. So this is just for positioning. This Mirac mask is not going to be a copy in the game. Um, and then, I don't think we're going to need that. Let's get a misc item in here. Gem key. Paragons? Here we go. The cats think it's all about them. I'm kind of busy here, sweetheart. Can I just please for once record a video without you guys yelling in the background? So this script works on four different types of objects. It works on weapons. It works on armor. Shields. Um, it works on books. So an Elder Scroll or a book. Or and then on miscellaneous objects. Think Pelagius' hip bone, the Paragons, uh, Pothema, Pothema's skull, uh, stuff like that. Any old thing. Any old cup. Nordic cup. Just It doesn't have to be a unique cup. The script would work on that as well if you wanted to get, get to that point. But for the sake of the tutor tutorial, we're going to go through these ones. So first we're going to deal with uh, the more simpler script for the items that are not leveled. So here we have Hawk and Sword. This will work on Oriel's bow. This will work on uh, Grim Sever. It will work on anything. So we're going to go to weapons and Hawk and Sword. I pulled Hawk and Sword here. I put this on this weapon plaque. This is a static weapon plaque. I made a new static for display purposes. For Once we are done, we're going to uh, switch this to an X marker with Control. If you have an item selected, Control F will bring up the form uh, search and replace, and from wildcard replace, you can write anything in here. You can just put X marker here, and it will change this into an X marker. I have m markers disabled, so don't touch after you change it to an X marker. Do not, I repeat, do not change the location. Don't touch this X mark. Ignore it completely. It's in the right position where it needs to be for display. Uh, so the first component we need is an activator that the player is going to uh, player is going to click. Uh, we do this by selecting a trigger box from here, and you're gonna want a blank trigger because we're gonna make a new activator. Default blank trigger. It's gonna surround this. You can adjust this a bit if you want it to be a bit bigger. Of course it won't work now because why would it work when I'm trying to make tutorials. I've been using Unity for a real game dev and apologies if my 
my camera movement and stuff doesn't make sense. I have been working in Unity, so its movement stuff is in my muscle memory. Um, so important stuff, importantest of stuffs. It needs to be. This needs to be tapped. Player activation. Otherwise, the player won't be able to click it if you don't make it player activated. And then, from uh, if your CK doesn't look the same as mine, I have the SSE creation kit fixes from Nexus, so it looks a bit different. It makes these tabs like stacked. Um, and you'll want 3D data for next. Your entire thing is fucked if you don't put player activation here. So. Make sure the rotation is not anywhere in even, like 90 or minus 90. You have to change this rotation, otherwise it will be unclickable. It's an engine bug that has been in Skyrim since 2011. So make sure this is something other than 90, like this, 91. It's perfect. Now the player can activate this. I'm gonna pull it out a bit, because now we're gonna have to make this Right now it's default blank trick, it doesn't do anything. We've just set it up in the reference level, but we need to edit the base. Ellie Harkens, you can give it a descriptive name. Harkens Sword Trigger or Activator, whichever works for you. Uh, take or Place, you can change this to anything you want, but whichever is uh, the most descriptive for your thing. And then this is the important bit because it's what it plays is. So Harkins Sword. Uh, it can be just activate. If you leave this blank, it will say activate. You can say use Harkins Sword display, whichever makes the most logical sense to you. These are the three things you fill in. Now it's there. This activator is what functions. So we need a script for it. Now it's the important bit. You want to add a new script. It loads a bit. And search for display. There are two ones that are new. These are from the creation kit updates. They are in update ESM, so make sure your mod is, is linked to update ESM. I believe at least that they are from that. So what we now want is default display unique item script. This list one is a different one, I'll show you in a minute. So take this one, go to properties. Now we can't fill everything in yet, I'll show you why, because I want you to look at this script. Uh, what we don't have yet, but the script requires, is an item not in inventory message. So it's a message that plays when you try to place something in here that you don't have. Uh, linked marker keyword is a keyword that we need to create and we will do so in a minute and then here are the things that I showed you You can display armor, book, mist or weapon uh, Only on, You can only do one at a time so this time we're making a weapon so the weapon we want to display edit value is DLC1 Harken Sword If I ever find it There we go So this is important Select that and this is player F is autofill. I'm gonna click OK for now. The script is not done, it's not ready, but we're gonna need to do that inventory message and create a new keyword. OK. For now, the script is being placed. Now we go to miscellaneous and message. Don't need Hawking. You can either create a new message or take one that already exists. I'm going to name it Ellie Black Item Message. Display time three minutes, three seconds. Your inventory includes everything you are carrying, but no, we are going to put here. You do not have the required. This is what the player sees when they try to put something in there that they don't have. And this script requires, it has to be Hawkins Sword, you can't put anything else in there. I usually put it on both of these, but this title is usually when you have a message box and it has a title. So this is what it says. It says that on the, on the bottom, uh, on the top left of the screen. Lack item message. There we go. Now we have that one. Create new. Yes. Then it wants a keyword from us. These are under miscellaneous, both of them. The message and the keyword. You want new keyword. Ellie display item keyword these or 
this is what links the, disp uh, the trigger to the item that we are displaying. The links to here. So now we can finish the script. We have the message, which edit value is Ellie, lack item message. Link market keyword is Ellie, display item keyword. And we have also set the, the sword and player ref. Now it's okay. Now we go to link ref, because this script is a link ref script. And you double click here. You select the reference in the render window, you click the sword, make sure you selected the right one, and now, pay attention. Now you'll want the display item keyword, because the script thinks it needs to find this one. So we give it that one. There we go. You're done. We're good. Click OK. But we're not done yet, sorry, I fooled you. Now you pull this over the, over the sword. Or whichever item you display and then the last thing you need to do when you're uh, finished setting up the script and all the messages you only you don't need to do the new message for every item you want to display or a new keyword it will now universally use that message and that keyword in every display you have uh, I'm now I'm going to replace this with the next marker it's going to look ugly but once in game it will position the sword exactly as I put it here Control F while co replace X marker. The X mark is where uh, the item will be displayed. Now, we, if we put markers back on, you can see this is the trigger connected to the X mark. We can do it for any other item. I'm going to just uh, copy this trigger to save myself the trouble and use it on Oriel's sword uh, shield. I'm gonna scale it to okay this is a really obnoxious because I have the uh, the glow paragon ENB glow it, it makes this really big mesh so I keep selecting this paragon I'm gonna drag that bad boy over there out of my way and do it later okay so we need to scale this two key is the scale key if you want to use it for this now what do, what do we need to check for this trigger we need to make sure that there's no bad angles like 90 or 0 or 180 or minus versions of those we need to check that it's player activation and now we're gonna go to the script again but the script is different this time because we are not displaying a weapon clear we are displaying an armor edit value DLC one Oriel shield there we go you don't have to actually put these there again they are already been filled because I copied the same I duplicated the earlier trigger but now our trigger will say use Harken sword. So we need to make a new trigger based on the old one. Oriel shield. And we make it say Oriel's shield display. There we go. And now we have a new one. You can you can select an activation sound if you want, but mostly just don't. It uses vanilla default sounds for activation. Right. So now the last thing that we need, because we duplicated this, is to link it to the actual shield. Double click here on under linked ref, select reference, select the shield and select the keyword that you had made. And now, since the shield is already where I want it displayed, I can just swap the shield to the next mark as well. There you go. You can copy, duplicate this and place it over an Elder Scroll. Oh, where's, what key is it? That one. It's a bit tricky to get them the right size, but it's worth it. It's worth that. You'll want them to be quite precise. move of course it's always doing this when you want to sorry had a bug in my face thank you summer I really like bugs in my face yeah the scale widget is a bit finicky sometimes just be patient with it it tries its hardest 
All right. So we need to change the script. Now this is tricky if you are using if you want an Elder Scroll because there's three types and you have to make one separate for each. Items, books. So there's three Elder Scrolls and uh, it changes depending on if you are using DLC or not. But of course this is SSE so it will always be always be a deal. Yeah. Anyway, so it's DLC 1 Elder Scroll. But since it's a, a book and not a, a, an armor, we clear this value, we go to the book to display. This will also break quests for people, but it's their own responsibility. It's not gonna break their quests, but you know. Come on, DLC 1 Elder Scroll. Let's say Dragon. It's the first one you find. And now the script is set up. Now we go to link draft, double click, just select the Elder Scroll, put the keyword in, and it's done. Except we need to make Elder Scroll Dragon. Elder Scroll Dragon. Holder Scroll. And create a new one. And now we just changed this to an X mark. The X marker bit is important so that the game knows how to display. If you don't do this, it will just you'll just end up with a floating Elder Scroll, which ruins everything. You can do it for normal books as well. Please. I reset its angle so I have to. This is not good. This is good. This is how you want it. Primitive uh, Dragonborn book. Borb. <laughs> there we go. We have a new trigger box that will say something nice. Uh, Dragonborn book, what is it? Book three valuable Dragonborn. Book three valuable Dragonborn. Now we link it to the linked ref link to the book, put the keyword in, drag this here and change it to X mark. You can do this for all kinds of items. As much patience as you have you can do. You can also do it for a miscellaneous object like the gem par paragon here. Well it's not perfect but it'll do the job. I'm gonna copy this, not this X mark. Copy this one. Put it over here. Script. Now you clear the book one. Ruby is the paragon that we want. Miscellaneous item. No, it is red. DLC. No key gem key portal gem orange it's red but you know so we go to miscellaneous object edit value portal gem orange and it's done I'll copy this name from here from the so it's exactly the same rupee baragon trigger. Now we have a new trigger for it. It says right. Now we're gonna link this to this one. Don't forget the keyword, otherwise it won't work. We have that one, and then we're just gonna quickly swap this to next market. And all our displays are set up. We have a miscellaneous object. You could do for Torsten's key, you could do Pelagius' hip bone. 
You could do it for a flute. Anything you want. We can do di different types of books, like the a unique book, like the Mythic Dawn or Ogma Infinium. You can do Elder Scrolls, you can do armors, you can do weapons. But what if the item you want to display has multiple versions, like the Nightingale Blade or the Nightingale Bow? I'm gonna put a Nightingale Bow here for good measure so we get some repetition in this stuff. Nightingale Bow. So you can see here there's five different versions of Nightingale Blade or Bow. I'm gonna pull the third one here. I'm gonna make a display out of this as well. It's, it's not pretty, but it will do the job. You need a different script for this. So I'm gonna copy this um, this trigger again because it just is the easiest. We're just gonna do some minor alterations. So this is Mirox mask. Mirox display. Isn't that is doesn't that the the mask just says Mirox, not Mirox mask. Mirox display. Here we go. So now, it's the tricky part. We don't want this script. The script is not useless for us. We want another script. We want the display script with the list. Default display item in list script. I don't know who named it, but it, it has less uh, uh, options here because now he's just looking for a form list. A form list is a list of items that the list is look uh, that the ref. Is it a reference it's looking for? This one can be auto-filled again. Uh, this one is the same message again. The player doesn't have the object if they don't have any version of Mirac. It will say you lack the required item. Item to display is the one that we're gonna change and linked marker keyword is still the same. Now we're gonna add, I'm gonna set press OK but the script is not done. We're gonna have to do a form list. A form list is also under miscellaneous, same as keyword and message. We're gonna create a new form list. We'll call it Ellie Mirac Mask List. Oh, I actually use FL form list. Now we're gonna drag all the possible variations of Mirac's mask. Or if you want to do Mirac's robes, you can do that too. There's six different versions. And you this is uh, Mirac fight mask is not the one, it's the one he wears. So make sure you take the, the one that is playable. This one is not playable, so the player can't have it. Pull this all here. Now we have a form list. Okay, create new one. Yes. Now we're gonna finish the script because we have our list. So the, the script looks at that list and compares it to the mask that the player has. Okay, so he has the mask, I'm gonna display that item. And here we go, put the Ellie mask list here. Now we're gonna go to link draft. Gonna do a new link. Use the same keyword as before, it's all good. And it's done. Except remember to change it to an X market. Seems insignificant, but it's really getting important. Do it. Don't hesitate. That one is set up now. This one you don't have to change the script properties in a way where I did with the different miscellaneous and book and other objects. I can't even use creation key anymore. Too much unity. Too much unity. Can you just please select the arrow that I'm picking? Please. Could you just once be cool? No, he does. I'm, I'm gonna leave it that because it's being an obnoxious little shit. Um, I'm gonna link it to the bow. I'm gonna do this in a different order, you see, but it's still all the same steps that you have to take. So the same keyword, it's been linked. Uh, the script, we're gonna need the new form list now. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna rename this to Nightingale Bow, because that's what we're putting in this Nightingale Bow list. I'm gonna remove these guys. Nightingale, I can't, I can't do Nightingale Bow, bow. I'm gonna pull all these five different versions. It depends on what level the character gets the reward and it picks it from this list. It gives it, the fifth one is the strongest one. Yes, I want to create a new form list. Now we're gonna put that form list here. It's the one below. 
and it's going to display one of the items on this list, the one that the player has. I'm gonna change it to an X mark. Now, assuming I did everything correctly, this should work in game now. But for us to be able to test it properly, I'm just going to pull, make a new container. Make a new container. LE test chest. Test. Also cake. Add all the items that we want to test in here. You can just drag and drop. Nightingale. Bow. Mirak. Mask. Oriel shield. Hawkins sword. Dragon bomb book. Elder Scroll Dragon and Ruby Baracon. Paragon Orange. Was that it? Did I miss anything? Elder Scroll Book. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, now we have test items. If I did everything correctly, we should be able to see this game. I'll see you in the game in a minute. I'll just need to activate this mod in Vortex. Let's go. All right, we managed to load into the game. We are in the room. All of our mods got enabled and uh, there was a bit of loading, but let's go. So we have the room. We have our uh, little test chest here. Test, also cake. Grab air things. Let's start testing. See how badly I fucked up. So for Mirax display, use Mirax display. Boom. Works like a dream. Now we can see here that I forgot to name the Nightingale Bow Activator. Where is CK? There it is. So we're gonna do that while I still remember. So go to Edit Base. I can't do this in runtime, so I, I would have to re start the game but nightingale bow so if I would have gone it completely right nightingale bow. but the first try I would have been surprised so that was a minor hiccup now it's uh, next time I save and load into game it works perfectly boom the bow is there how about hawk and sword it just works ruby barco just works beautiful EMB glow oh that's pretty intense I've never seen that in game yet Elder Scroll how about it boom just works how about the book book works and the shield shield works I am too good for this shit I'm pretty proud how well that worked out the only thing that I messed up was forgetting to uh, rename the bow and make the, the bow activator and new. So the problem with these displays is, as you can see, now it says use Mirax display. It doesn't do anything. You actually have to take the bow. So that's a bit of a hiccup. Like, it, this doesn't get disabled once the item is displayed, but you can still just pick it up as if it was a, an object in the world. So you can take it back. You can use it as many times as you want. Except it doesn't work. I think it the the list one doesn't support. Oh, I'm naked. Sorry. So I definitely got back, but it won't. I don't actually know what that is. Interesting. So that one works just fine. Let's see if I can troubleshoot. 
in seek. I don't have that much time to just like troubleshoot this. Maybe it's just script lag. Good luck with that. I just want to get this video out now for you. Um, I will write in the video description on how to how how that is. It definitely shouldn't be like this. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful for you. Leave a comment if you didn't understand something or if it was too fast or whatever. But basically that is it. That's how you use these new display scripts that work on Xbox, PC and PlayStation 4. They are all there. Just remember to have the update ESM as one of your masters. You don't, And if you want to load items from DLCs that you put them as uh, master files as well. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video in the next two years or something.